Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. During an international summit held in Lithuania, Polish President Andrzej Duda unveiled discussions with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky regarding the potential transfer of Soviet-made air defense missile systems to strengthen Ukraine's air defense capabilities. The announcement comes amid escalating Russian military aggression, targeting energy facilities and civilian infrastructure across Ukraine. President Duda, along with Lithuanian President Gitanis Nauseda, emphasized the urgency of bolstering Ukraine's defensive posture in response to the heightened Russian assault. Discussion centered on the transfer of Soviet-made missiles to enhance Ukraine's air defense capabilities, reflecting a broader regional effort to support Ukraine amidst the ongoing conflict. The timing of these discussions is crucial, with the Ukrainian Interior Ministry reporting a significant increase in Russian strikes, totaling approximately 30,000 attacks over the past three months. These attacks have primarily targeted the Ukrainian energy sector and civilian areas, exacerbating the humanitarian crisis in the region. Details regarding the types of missiles and the timeline for the transfer remain under discussion, with further consultations expected as the situation evolves. Notably, Ukraine has already received an undisclosed number of S-125 Newa SC air defense missile systems from Poland, enhancing its air defense capabilities. The S-125 Neva slash Pechora, known in NATO as the SA-03 Goa, is a Soviet-designed surface-to-air missile system developed during the Cold War for low- to medium-altitude air defense. While initially operational in 1961, it has undergone upgrades over the decades to improve its effectiveness against low-flying threats. The Polish S-125 Newa SC represents a modernized version of the Soviet-era S-125 Nevium anti-aircraft missile system. This modernization effort, initiated in 1992, has significantly enhanced the system's mobility, radar capabilities, and overall effectiveness in engaging aerial targets. Key upgrades include mounting the launcher on AT-55 tank chassis, installing radar systems on a wheeled chassis, and replacing analog components with digital systems to improve reliability and accuracy. These enhancements have made the Newa SC variant a valuable asset in Ukraine's air defense strategy against modern threats. Poland's commitment to supporting Ukraine extends beyond discussions of missile transfers. The country has been a leading contributor to military aid, providing various forms of assistance including military hardware, financial support, and humanitarian aid. Poland's proposed creation of a 20 billion euro fund to support Ukraine's military needs over the next four years underscores its dedication to bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities. Poland's contributions highlight its strategic role on NATO's eastern flank and underscore its commitment to Ukraine's defense amidst the ongoing conflict with Russia. As regional support intensifies, Ukraine stands poised to strengthen its air defense capabilities, further deterring Russian aggression and safeguarding its sovereignty. That's all for now. See you later.